Welcome back to this series of conversation around the lead up to Mobile World Congress. Terry Sweeney here with Light Reading and joining me now is Jenny Panhorst, Vice President and General Manager of Intel's Network and Edge Platforms Division. Jenny, thanks for joining us for this conversation today. Absolutely, thanks for having me. Um, let's start with just uh, you highlighting some of the pieces of Intel strategy for enabling this 5G and Edge ecosystem. But what are the piece parts there? Yeah, you know, we're, we're working off a proven strategy. We laid the groundwork when we partnered with communication service providers to drive the transition to NFE. And this was over a decade of innovation with the world's leading technology and service providers. And, and this means that we not only have a deep understanding of network and edge use cases, but also a highly optimized and globally deployed silicon architecture that you can count on to deliver cloud scale and agility to all sorts of, of networking opportunities. What's new about our strategy now is really the rapid progress and momentum that we're realizing as we shift to cloud native networks. We're committed to helping our customers take advantage of the opportunities to deliver new services, to realize the possibilities of 5G, Edge, and AI to drive real business value. So from equipment builders to system integrators to application developers all across the ecosystem, Intel has spent a number of years aligning use cases, bridging technical gaps and, and solving all the integration and infrastructure management challenges that our customers are faced with. And really what we're focused on is creating a simpler path to trusted edge and IoT deployments backed by a wealth of optimizations in applications from developers all around the globe. Thanks for that. That's that's helpful context. Um, let's let's turn then to what some of the key themes and technology trends you're expecting to be a, a part of the scene in 2022 and beyond. And then additionally, how does that map to the problems that you're trying to solve for customers? Yeah, you know, top of mind for me are really advancing AI, and and by that I mean accelerating the impact of AI in intelligent networks but also the transformative value of AI to society. Um, also cloud native edge to core, and then 5G innovation that has an opportunity to fuel sustainable business growth. And, and so then if you try to map this to business challenges, the key challenges that we see are how our customers can maximize value from ever increasing volumes of data, staying ahead of ever increasing security threats, driving overall operational efficiency, and really being able to deliver new services to customers faster than ever before. So if you look at these themes that I highlighted, advancing AI, cloud native edge to core, and, and 5G enabled growth, they're all focused on addressing these challenges. Business resiliency to deliver all these capabilities, it really demands agility. And so when we look at this from an opportunity at the edge, it's really about putting compute closer to where data is generated. And we have an opportunity to reveal fresh insights from mountains of untapped data, which has potential to unlock tremendous revenue from new services. But if we look at you know, what's required to bring intelligence to new places, and integrate new technologies like 5G, AI, machine learning, computer vision, integrating this into existing infrastructure is, is certainly complex. And so, you know, what we're looking at is, is this opportunity to bring this intelligence to areas where we're dealing with a, a huge volume of raw and unstructured data, very often in remote and, and even in some cases, um, sometimes harsh environments. And it really requires delivery of robust computing technology and so we look at different characteristics of this technology, connectivity, bandwidth, power, these are all finite resources that need to be carefully balanced with overall total cost of ownership as well as sustainability goals. And you know, if we look at security, security across data, platform, network security, all of this is non-negotiable. And um, at the edge, we need to make sure that we're managing this in a way that is flexible and automated and secure. And, and so to be successful, this requires us to seamlessly connect the edge to the cloud and also provide the headroom to, while we're automating the infrastructure, increasingly also provide headroom to add new capabilities and new services while building in flexibility to adapt to changing business challenges and opportunities. The, the, the reduced scale at the edge uh, feels like it 
really is a, a key part of that agility that, that you referenced, that if you really want to deliver agility to the network, it's, it's easier to do it in, in smaller, digestible, edge size pieces than the entire network itself. Is that, is that accurate? Yeah, you know, it's interesting because we're talking about applying, you know, the principles of the cloud to the edge, but you have to do so in such a distributed fashion. And so it definitely requires new ways of looking at these problems. Interesting. Um, talk a bit about how uh, the cloud native edge infrastructure is helping to solve some of these business challenges. Yeah, as we as we apply these principles, right, we're, we're trying to automate, we're trying to drive scale, um, you know, we're in, and in many cases, we're trying to add modularity and disaggregation to the infrastructure as a way to provide more flexibility and, and resiliency. Um, and so we're, we're doing all of this in a way to create infrastructure that is agile, like you said, um, that is even more efficient and more flexible and really customizable to different use case needs, because, you know, the the pace of change of what this infrastructure is required to do is increasing exponentially. And so if we look at, you know, applying the, you know, these, these cloud native types of principles at the intelligent edge, we have an opportunity to really bring together these opportunities of, you know, this colliding of digital and, and physical worlds and technologies to optimize experiences and also optimize, uh, create new experiences, but also optimize operations. And, and so what's so exciting about the edge is the innovation that's being driven in industry 4.0, smart everything, digital twins, immersive experiences, um, and really looking at this opportunity to create autonomous enterprises of all kinds. And, and so we, you know, we're looking at this from a use case standpoint to really fuel these exciting new both business and consumer opportunities and so back to kind of what we talked about at the beginning, we're focused on enabling an ecosystem of open and standards-based hardware and software solutions to help our customers really make new connections and forge new partnerships across an ever-changing ecosystem. Really, the, the, the lines are being redrawn continually. Um, and really what this has an opportunity to do is accelerate innovation and deliver and scale solutions at lots of different edges, on-premise edge, access edge, near edge in, in so many different areas that require this new compute. And so, you know, the, the cloud native approach is super important because it provides choice, it provides flexibility from really the infrastructure layer all the way up to the application and the service. And, you know, we've had an opportunity to already work with our partners to deliver thousands of tested and real world implementations that are available today. And this is why, you know, our, our customers really look to Intel to really garner the benefits of these virtualized and cloud native learnings to apply them to infrastructure from core to access to edge with this large ecosystem that we've built around Intel technologies. Great perspective on architecture, agility, and management for today's CSP networks. Jenny, thanks for talking to us today. Thanks, thanks for having me. We've been talking with Jenny Panhorst of Intel. This has been Terry Sweeney with Light Reading. Thanks for joining us for this conversation. We'll see you next time.